So I'm going to be installing a fresh clean installation of Ubuntu in this laptop. This laptop is a Lenovo laptop. It has all gigabytes of RAM and it has a 250 gigabyte hard drive. So it's a Lenovo E460. It's a ThinkPad. So I'm going to wipe out everything in that laptop. So I'm in the Ubuntu website. I'm going to click on download. I'm going to select Ubuntu desktop. Get Ubuntu desktop. Click on that. So there are two options here. So this is the Ubuntu 22.04.3 LTS. And this gives you an explanation what it is. And this is the recommended system requirements. And this is the other selection. So I'm going to select this one, the Ubuntu 23.10. I'll click on download. So I'm going to download Rufus. And this is going to create a bootable uh, USB drive with Ubuntu. So I have to download the exe file. I already downloaded it. So this is the Ubuntu ISO file. It's about 4.81 gigabytes in size. So I'm going to open Rufus. So I'm going to be using a USB drive and the USB drive size is 16 gigabytes. I'm going to click select. I'll select the Ubuntu ISO file, click open. I'm going to leave everything else as default. I'll click start, click OK, click yes. So it's going to wipe everything out from the USB drive. I'll click OK. So this is creating the USB bootable drive with Ubuntu. So the bootable USB drive was created. I'll click close. So now I'm going to boot up the Lenovo laptop and I'm going to boot it up into BIOS because I want to disable secure boot and I want to make sure also that I can boot from a USB. So I'm booting up the laptop into BIOS. I'm going to choose a temporary startup. So I'm going to enter the BIOS utility. I'll hit F1. So these are the specs of the computer. This is the CPU type and the installed memory is four gigabytes. So I'm going to go to config and I'll select USB. So I want to make sure that I can boot up from USB. It has to be enabled. I'm also going to disable secure boot. So I selected secure boot and it's disabled. So I'm going to restart the laptop and I'm going to boot up from the USB drive. So I inserted the Ubuntu USB in the laptop and I'm going to boot from the USB. I'm going to restart the laptop. I'll hit enter to interrupt the startup. I'll hit F12 on the keyboard. So I selected the USB drive. I'll hit enter and it says try or install Ubuntu. I'm going to select the first option, hit enter. So it's booting up from the USB. So it says, welcome to Ubuntu. I have to choose my language. I'm going to select English. I click next. I'm going to select the first option, install Ubuntu. Click next. Here's where you have to choose your keyboard layout. It's already selected for English. I'm going to click next. So however you want to connect to the network, you can connect to the Wi-Fi or the wired connection. So right now this laptop is connected with the wired connection. So I'm going to leave it as the first option. Click next. So it says to update. I can skip that or I can click update. I'm going to skip it. Now these are the applications and updates. So it gives a message here. The computer is not plugged into a power source. I just plugged it in. So here it says applications and updates. What apps would you like to install to start with? It has the default installation, full installation. I'm going to select default installation. Click next. So I can always install other apps after. So this laptop currently has Debian and it gives me these three options. Install Ubuntu alongside Debian, erase this and install Ubuntu. So I'm going to erase the disk and install Ubuntu only. I'll click next. So it's ready to install and it says devices. The petition tables of the following devices are changed. I'm going to leave it as default, click install. So this is the time zone. I'm in New York and it's in Eastern time. I'm going to click next. It says type your name. I'm going to type a name. 
So you can edit any one of these, uh, your computer's name, you can type whatever you would like. So it says pick a username, I'm going to leave it as Fred, I'm going to type a password, I'll retype the password, require my password to log in, it's on. So it says here in this option, use Active Directory, I'm not going to do that, I'll click next. So this is where you choose the team and you can always change this later. I'm going to leave it as light, click next and it's installing. So Ubuntu is installed and ready to use. I'm going to click on restart now. So I have to remove the USB drive. I removed it. I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard. So I get the login screen and the laptop. I'm going to log in. I'm going to type in the password. So I get the screen. Connect your online accounts. I'm going to skip. So in this option, help improve Ubuntu. So now I'm going to select no. Click next. So it says here, ready to go, and I can use the App Center to install apps like these. I can open the App Center now just by clicking here. But I'm going to click Done. So this is the Home folder. This is similar to File Explorer. Here's a list of the folders. It's Desktop Documents, Downloads, Pictures, and Music. So on the left side, this is the grid icon. When I click on that, it will show me all the apps. If I want to update the software, I can click on this. And this is the software updater. This is the settings icon. Here is where I can connect to my Wi-Fi. Here's Bluetooth. There's appearance. So I can choose whatever appearance I would like. I can also add a picture. These are the backgrounds. So here I can adjust the desktop icons. This is the size. I can choose any one of these. The default is normal. So there are more settings options here. So there's notification, search, multitasking, sharing. I can add printers here. So on displays, I can change the resolution here. I can also add another user. I just have to click on users. I have to type my password. Then I can add another user here. And I can give that user administrative rights. And there's about, and this gives you the specs of the computer, the disk capacity, system details. I can also right click on the desktop. I can create a new folder. I can arrange the icons. I can change the background. I can also change the resolution by clicking on display settings. So I'm going to select change background. I'm going to select this background. So also on the top right side, I have these icons here, the sound the network, the battery, and when I click on those, I get all these options here. I can connect to my Wi-Fi here. I can connect to a Bluetooth. This is the sound, and this is the settings icon. I'll click on that, and it opens up the settings page. So I'll click on the grid icon here. I'll click on software and updates. So on the software and updates, I have all these options here. I can download from the internet all of these and it says download from. I can choose main server. I'll type my password. There's other software. There's updates. And here where I can subscribe to. There's authentication, additional drivers, developer options. I can also install from a CD or DVD ROM here. So there's a search bar here. For example, if I need the terminal app, I just have to type terminal. And to get updates, I can type sudo app get update, hit enter, type my password, and the update is done. So Ubuntu is working really well in this Lenovo laptop. So I want to thank you for watching, and I thank you for subscribing.